Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Um, a little tired. No, but I. Thank I you. Did you have a nice weekend? Did you have a nice weekend or not? Good evening, teacher. Yes, Hello. I have a nice weekend. Okay. I, yes, I'm. I I study all weekend. All weekend, really? Yes. Wow. Uh, I'm practice in my in my job with my clients. Ah, okay, good. Yes, I have a clients that. Uh, they, they, they speak English. You work in a restaurant, right? No, 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 no. I, I work. Uh, I work in a club. It's a club. Uh, it's a club in the San Salvador. Oh, what club? The name. The name is. Círculo Deportivo Internacional. Oh, the CDI. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Really? Yeah, Colonia Roma. Uh -huh, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I I try to practice with with other with other with, people. With the members. Yeah, exactly, with the members. <laughs> Great. But in what area do you work? In the gym. Ah, the, the gym. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I'm personal trainer. Ah, That's yeah, good. I remember. You're a personal yeah. trainer. Uh -huh. I have a certification international. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Yes, I have a personal trainer certification. So you can go to another country and you, you can work as a personal trainer. Exactly. exactly. What are you what are you doing here in El Salvador? <laughs> well, you need English. Definitely. <laughs> I need learn English and uh, I live with my son. Yeah. You can. But you can take him with you. Yes, sure. If you get a. Right? If you a get better a job, life. If you get a job, you can do it. You can travel with, with your son. Okay, people, let's get started this evening. I'm going to take the attendance. So please turn on your cameras and respond when you hear your name. Okay. Ada Veronica Muñoz. Ada Veronica is not here tonight. That's strange. It's usually very early. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Present, present teacher. Okay, welcome. Andrea Isabel Siu. Yet. Oh. Uh, Brenda Claribel Mejia. It's me, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry, I, I come in late. Okay. Brian Josue Marroquín. Oh. 
Cecilio Antonio Cortés. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Claudia María Gómez. Good evening, present teacher. Welcome. Diana Patricia Orantes. Diana. Present. Okay. I'm here. Okay. Eugenio Ernesto Martínez. Present teacher. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. Jennifer Nouset Arevalo. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Present teacher. Welcome. Catherine Maria Luz Melendez. Present teacher. Welcome. Lenin Hernandez Flores. Salud. Lenin. Salud. Present teacher. I have class. Okay. Luis Alfredo Aguilar. Present teacher, I am here. Okay. Mary Abigail Fuentes. Present teacher. Welcome. Miguel Antonio Rodriguez. Present teacher. Welcome. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. Uh, here teacher. Okay, welcome. Noé Ezequiel Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Norma Lisette Crespin. Present teacher. Welcome. Olivia Raquel Rodriguez. Present. Okay. Oscar Alexander Domínguez. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Reina Isabel Romero. Hello. Hello. Silvia Esther Rivera. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, quick review with the absent. Sada Veronica. Andrea Isabel. Brian Josue. Jennifer Nouset. Still absent. Present, teacher. Oh, there you are. Jennifer. Write your full name, Jennifer. Okie dokie. Well, let's get started tonight. Let's see here. Okay, last class we studied how to make evaluations and comparisons. Let me review that video to refresh the topic we studied here. Comparison with adjectives and nouns. Okay, I got it here. Uh, ta -da -ta -da. Let me share the screen and the sound. Okay, watch this video again, where we talk about comparisons and evaluations with adjective, which is the topic we studied at the end of the class last night, uh, last, last Thursday. And after that, we are going to work on an exercise we have in the manual, okay? Here it, here it goes. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you will be able to compare and express similarities about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to express similarities about your house and your neighbor's house. For example, you'll be able to make the following comparisons. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments.
In this class, we're going to learn how to make comparisons with adjectives. And we're also going to learn how to make comparisons with nouns. And what do I mean by adjectives? Well, if we look at the adjective convenient, and what do I mean by nouns? Well, if we look at the noun rooms or privacy, that's what I mean by adjectives and nouns. So let me present the formula at this time. What we want to do is we want to make sense of the comparisons that are towards the bottom. We're going to start with comparisons with adjectives. So in order for us to make sense of this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, write the same example that is there. And then we're going to make a few more to make sure that we understand the topic. So first of all, we're going to have some sort of subject. This is going to be followed by the verb to be. The verb to be can be in its positive form or in its negative form. And it will then it will be followed by as, the adjective, and as. So quick example, houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Towards the end, you will include whatever it is that you're comparing your subject with. So in this case, I'm comparing houses versus apartments. Now let me give another example. What I want to do now is I'm going to choose a different subject. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments. And what I'm going to say, I'm going to continue to make negative statements there. Apartments aren't as, and I'm going to say expensive as houses. Apartments aren't as quiet as houses. And you can say apartments aren't as, and I'll use the adjective here, spacious as houses. What I would like to do now is explain how to express similarities. That means that they are the same or almost the same. And that's our last example there. Houses are just as convenient as apartments. That opinion means that they are the same. So I want you to take a look at that example. Apartments, that's going to follow the verb to be in its positive form. And then it's going to follow as or just as. Okay. Actually, um, you can either say just as or you can simply say as. And, and both will be the correct way of expressing it. So we can say apartments are just as expensive as houses. And that's my personal opinion, right? Or you can simply say apartments are as expensive as houses. And you can use any adjective to compare the two. You can say apartments are as quiet as houses. Apartments are as spacious as houses. Apartments are as convenient, just like we see the example there, right? as houses. And so remember that this kind of things, you're making comparisons. So maybe in your area, apartments are the same as houses. So they cost the same. You know, they are as big as houses. Uh, apartments are as convenient as houses, etc. Usually that's not the case. Usually there are big differences among houses and apartments. But in this case, we're saying that they are the same. What I would like to do now is to show you how to make comparisons. But this time, I'm going to show you how to make comparisons with nouns. And what do I mean by nouns? Well, when we talk about nouns in the context of comparing houses and apartments, we can think of things like rooms, privacy, bedrooms, bathrooms, kitchens, anything that has to do with what's inside of a house or outside of a house. Those are nouns, if you will. And what I would like to do is to propose this formula that you see towards the bottom in order for us to make sense of this comparison here on the top. So first of all, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, as you can see, apartments is um, our uh, subject there. I'm going to go ahead and make this small because I want it to fit on the screen. So apartments, that follows the verb. The verb can be in its, po in its positive form or in its negative form. And then we're going to include as or just as, as you can see there. 
And after that, you will include many plus account now. So I want you to pay attention to that real fast. We're going to have many plus account now. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are those things that you can easily count. If you recall the previous lesson that we saw where we talked about count nouns and non-count nouns, we said that count nouns are those things that you can easily count. Or this will follow much plus a non-count noun. So I want you to look at that for a moment now. And what do we mean by non-count? Well, again, Recalling the previous lesson that we saw, we learned that non-count nouns are those things that are difficult to count. And then it's going to follow as plus some sort of noun. So let me write the example here. Apartments have as many rooms as houses. And then we'll take that last example there. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. In our first example, we're saying that they are pretty much the same, so they're quite similar. In our second example, we are saying that there's a difference between houses and apartments, and that is that apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. And then again, you can make many different comparisons between houses and apartments. What else can you say? Well, you can say that apartments don't have as many windows as houses. That might be the case. You can say that apartments don't have as much space as houses. Finally, the last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice these concepts that we have learned. And I want you to make the comparison between your house and your neighbor's house. I want you to use nouns and adjectives to compare your house and your neighbor's house. So just a little help here, you can you can use the adjectives that I'm proposing here, such as comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge. And if you want to use those adjectives when you can use this formula, right? Like for example, you can say, my house isn't as expensive as my neighbor's house. Or it could be the other way around. For example, you can say my neighbor's house isn't as expensive as my house. At the same time, you also want to make comparisons with nouns. For example, you can say my house doesn't cost as much money as my neighbor's house. Or again, it could be the other way around. You can, you can say my neighbor's house doesn't cost as much money as my house. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so that video you started this, okay? How to make comparisons so how to evaluate something using adjectives. Evaluation with adjectives, comparison with adjectives. Evaluation with nouns, comparison with nouns. Now, look at this uh, ads. There are a couple of Ads, no, they are not ads, they are opinions about this apartment. There are two opinions about this apartment. Let me go to the The apartment one says spacious modern apartment. Two bedroom, one bathroom, very private, located outside the city. 
to car garage, eight hundred per month, right? And the second one is the first. Okay. The second one says older small apartment, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, located downtown by the commuter train, one parking space, eight hundred per month. Okay, now you are going to rephrase the opinion they have here. Apartment one. There are only a few windows. It is not bright enough. It has only one bathroom. It is not convenient enough. Okay, the exercise is to rewrite the same idea using the words in parentheses. Okay, how can you say the same thing but using these words? For example, the number one. Yeah, there are only a few windows. Another way to say it is there aren't enough windows. Not enough. There aren't enough windows. The same idea in different words. Okay? It is not bright enough. What is, how can we say that using two? Tell me. It is not bright enough. Say the same thing using two. What is the opposite of bright? Hello? What is the opposite of bright? Dark. 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 Okay. So, another way to say it is not bright enough? Using two? It's too dark. Yes. It's too dark. That's right here. Now. It's too dark. Okay. What about number three? Number three. It has only one bathroom not enough huh? tell me tell me there aren't enough bathrooms there aren't enough bathrooms yes Okay, very good. What about number four? It is not convenient enough. What is the opposite of convenient? Inconvenient. Yes. So? It's not to it, it's it's too inconvenient. Yeah, it's too inconvenient. Right? Okay, I help you with number with number one, oh, apartment one. I'll give you time to work on apartment two. Okay? I'm going to send you this to WhatsApp.
Okay, I, I will send you to working groups so you can help you, you can help each other, okay? Try to join the breaker rooms if you can. If your internet allows you to join a breaker room. And work together.
Sorry, teacher, I have a problem with my Wi-Fi. Okay. Me, Brenda. Okay, Brenda. Work. Work alone. Or oh, you want me to okay. send you again? Uh, I I try to work alone because I I, I don't. Well, Alicia is here also. Alicia, I don't know if Alicia would like to work with you. Okay, Alicia, can I practice with me? Oh, Alicia. Lenin. Hello, hello. Already okay. Not, not okay. I I try to 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 work alone. Okay.
teacher. Uh, I have a uh, questions. Can number H apartment two? There's only the there's only one parking space. Um, can be there aren't enough parking space. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Only that should be in plural parking spaces. I think done. <laughs> Classmate, can I practice with me? No. Everyone is coming. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. I'm going to move this here. Okay, number number five says apartment two is not spacious enough. Okay, how do you say that using two? Tell me. Oh. Hi. Number five. It's do a smell. It's do a smell. A small. Do small. Uh, could be yeah. Another form, people using the adjective we studied last week. It is too dingy. It is too dingy. Dingy is the opposite of spacious. I would use this one also. Cram? Yeah. What is the meaning of D? What meaning? Dingy. Dingy is like dirty. Yes. I made a mistake, sorry. I confuse. Okay, no problem. 
तो आहित बर्ट ए टू हाँ ए बर्ट लेटर्स नोटिस है It's yeah. It's too cramped. Okay, good. Continue with number six. Number six says it's too old. Not enough. How did you do it? In my case, in my case, um, I write, uh, it's not enough modern. What do you think? Okay. It is not enough modern. modern. No. Oh, ah, okay, okay. Okay, sounds good. Any other idea? I have an idea. There aren't enough something new. What do you think? Well, the apartment is empty. Can 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 be there aren't inconvenient? There aren't inconvenient, no. But inconvenient is not the opposite of old. Yeah. We want to use a, a noun. There aren't. And now. And actually, no, because the apartment is empty. No. Okay. In a, nobody else? It isn't, could be new enough. It isn't new enough. But it's better than this one, modern enough. Okay, very good. Number seven. It isn't quiet enough. The opposite of quiet. Noisy. Noisy. Okay. You noisy. Too? Noisy. It's too noisy. It's too noisy. And number eight. Says. There's only one parking space. Not enough. It's not enough parking parking space. It's not enough parking space. Okay. It is not enough parking. Be also there aren't enough parking space. Earning enough parking. Okay, very good. 
Now we have here another way to establish comparison. What can I do here? Comparison using as as. Here, yes. Okay. Look using as as. We have it here. It is not as in the middle of the adjective cheap as the last apartment. It is not as cheap as the last apartment. It's almost as cheap as the last apartment. Now with now. It doesn't have as many bedrooms as the last apartment. It has just as many bedrooms as the last apartment. Or it has just as many bedrooms. When it is obvious that you're talking about the other apartment. So. Let's work on that here. Write comparison using the words below and ask as. Write. Okay. So apartment one isn't as bright as apartment two. Bedroom. What about bedroom? Two bedrooms. Two bedrooms. How can we say that? Apartment one has as many bedrooms. As apartment two. Apartment one has as many bedrooms as apartment two. Why? Because this has two apart bedrooms and this has two bedrooms. Right? Tiene tantos yeah. dormitorios como parte 2. Now. Uh, bathrooms. How many bathrooms are in apartment 1? One. one bathroom. Ah, apartment 2 has two bathrooms. Okay, apartment one doesn't have as many bathrooms as apartment two. Okay. Okay, now you please continue with the adjectives for apartment two. You are comparing apartment two with apartment one.
Okay, people, we're going to stop here, complete the, that exercise, and we're going to check it tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. And see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you bye tomorrow, bye. teacher. Bye, everyone. Good night. Good night. See you. See you tomorrow, good teacher. Night. Bye. Good, good night. night.